hear me, Bruce? Oh, don't act all surprised, Bats. You knew this was going to happen sooner or later. Me stuck deep inside you. Together, we're going to give this city what it deserves. A new Batman. A better Batman. A darker, more... <laughs> we can come back to this later. First, we need to agree on some priorities. Sure, you've saved the city by reducing the blast, but Ace Chemicals is still about to explode. You need to start looking out for yourself. After all, you're brooding for two now. <laughs> I need to escape Ace Chemicals before it explodes. Alfred. Oh, thank God. When the explosion... I thought you might be... It's okay, Alfred. I managed to reduce the blast radius and prevented the toxin from spreading into the city. But what about Scarecrow? Or this Arkham Knight character? They've got tanks, missiles. Their forces are all over Gotham. Crane got away. I was exposed to his toxin. Good Lord, are you all right? Remember what happened at the asylum? It's okay. I had a bad reaction. But it's over now. I've really got to hand it to Scarecrow. I've never been a fan of his concoctions up till now, but this batch, it's uh, <laughs> intoxicating. It really brings out the me in you. <laughs> Sir, did you hear what I said? Commissioner Gordon has been trying to contact you. Thanks, Alfred. Jim. You got out. See, I said you wouldn't let me down. I need to speak to you. Sure. What is it? Meet me outside GCPD prisoner detention. I'm heading there now. Alfred, analyze the militia forces, troop deployments, equipment, movements. I want to know exactly what I'm up against. I'll perform a full analysis of the occupying forces and report back shortly, sir. What I want, Batman! Might fool everyone else, but you can't fool me. There's something different about you. You're afraid. You've always buried your fears. Lock them away deep in your subconscious, hidden. Something is gnawing away the darkness of your mind, isn't it? Something even you can't control. The cracks are forming as it pushes its way to the surface.
when you tell him his daughter's been kidnapped. <laughs> and it's all your fault. <laughs> this is going to be classic. I've got to go. Batman's here. What's wrong, Jim? Come on, you're scaring me. It's Barbara. She's been taken. No, no, no. I spoke to her. She said she got out. She left hours ago. Stay calm. We'll get her back. Which one? Who's got my little girl? Scarecrow. They took her from the clock tower. All right, we need to go. There could be a clue. Something that will lead us to her. I'll follow. Stay in contact. You've got to tell him it's your fault at some point, Bats. And the great thing is, I'll be standing right there when you do. Jim, I need you to stay focused. It's dangerous out there. Drive slow and let me deal with any trouble. Why did I let this happen? There's no way you could have predicted this, Jim. It's my job to predict it as a cop and a father. The whole thing's gone down on my watch. Up ahead, we've got company. Who are they? Militia. Okay. Pursuing forces, this is Arkham Knight. Your priority is to apprehend Commissioner Gordon. I say it again. Your priority is to apprehend the Commissioner. I want him alive. Let nothing stand in your way. Open fire! Damn it. He's gonna run us off the road. Get us there in one piece, Batman. We're running out of time. Sir, before you head to the clock tower, I thought you may like to hear the analysis of the Arkham Knight's forces you requested. What have you got, Alfred? I've set the Bat computer to analyze militia presence across the three islands and provide you with a real-time representation of the occupation's strength in each zone. As you can see, Miyagani Island is heavily occupied, with a substantial drone ground force controlling the roads. Founders Island is the militia's stronghold, protected by long-range radars and a missile launcher. I'd recommend keeping the Batmobile away from there for the time being. The remaining drone forces on Bleak Island have been redeployed to protect the clock tower, so expect significant resistance. Thanks, Alfred. I'm heading there now. Sergeant! Yes, sir? Extraction squad's down. Take control of the clock tower drones. He's coming. Switching to manual control. I'll stop him, sir. You'll be safe in the Batmobile. I'll let you know when the area is secure. I'm not just sitting here while you go after those bastards. Yes, you are, Jim. Barbara wouldn't want you to get yourself killed. 
I'll be in touch the minute I'm done. The second. Clock tower unit, that man knows we have his ally and he's coming for you. Hold him off. You can do this, man. I'm gonna tell you how. See that? He tore through the armor! What is that thing? A car? A tank? You think the bat's inside? If he is, there's no way he's getting out. If he was in there, don't you think he'd fire back? It's a decoy, man, I'm telling you! Where the hell's our ground support? He took them all out, every one of them, and now he's coming for us! Quit complaining and keep a lookout. I'm telling you, he ain't gonna show. Fifty bucks says he's up there watching us right now. No way. Colleen? Is that you again? Candy Graham! Oh, don't pass out just yet. Come on. Show a little spy. gets home. He's going to be furious about all this mess. like a trip down old memory lane, eh, Bats? And now a front row seat to the main event. You would have thought old Jim Gordon had been through enough. First, some handsome young maniac cripples his daughter. Now he's blaming himself for her being taken. You really should tell him this is your fault, Bats. I'm sure he'll understand. I mean, it's not like you went out and got his daughter killed. Well, not yet, anyway. The night's still young. Oh, God, no. This 
this isn't your fault, Jim. Of course it is. Crane's done this to get to me. I should have been here. There's something I need to show you. We haven't got time. She's not like us. She's strong, Jim. Stronger than you realize. She works for you? This is all your fault. I will find her. She's my family! My daughter! She's all I've got! I never should have trusted you. Never! I'll do this on my own. Stay away from my family. I think that went quite well, considering. Of course, I wouldn't have told him, but that's why it's so liberating being me. You've got a lot to look forward to, Bats. I need to find out what happened to Barbara. They covered their tracks by disabling the clock tower security cameras. If I hack the municipal CCTV system, I should be able to monitor all access points to the building. That's the Arkham Knight. He's got Barbara. I need to confirm which car he took her in. There. That's the vehicle they took Barbara away in. Those tires are Amertech D60s. I can program the Batmobile to track their unique tread pattern. It'll lead me right to them. I think about it. How did Scarecrow know to go after your IT department? I mean, I had no idea she worked for you when I shot her. I just got lucky. Seriously, I was aiming for her head. Oh, if I'd only had a video camera when I swept Barbara off her feet. <laughs> Poor old Jimbo had to make do with a sideshow. 
Lockdown clock tower. Authorization, Batman. me to Barbara. I can use the Batmobile forensic scanner to follow them. Alfred, I want the Arkham Knight's name. As do I, Master Bruce. He has presumably chosen that title for a reason. Where do you suggest we start? Arkham City. Go through the files of every inmate who was released following the death of Hugo Strange. And Alfred. Yes, sir. They knew about Barbara. Activate the Batcave security protocols. Don't drop your guard. I've got to work, old Batman. Now you care who I am. Just gotta find me. The Gotham's a big place, and there's a whole lot of twists. I'm ready for you. Alfred, the militia have deployed a device. It's burrowed deep into the road. Yes, I see it. Similar devices are being planted across the city. I'll investigate. It's a bomb, Alfred. A well-armored one. Oh dear. In that case, sir, should you really be standing quite so close? I'm going to set up a remote link to the bat computer and hit it with every virus we've got. Once we're hacked in, I can expose the core and defuse it with a controlled explosion. Very good, sir. Though I should warn you that the militia has already deployed a platoon of its unmanned tanks to stop you. They won't. upload has destabilized the device. If you move too far away and lose the connection, it will flatten everything within a 10-block radius. As you predicted, sir, he's trying to defuse the device. The drones you requested have been deployed. We need those bombs in place, Sergeant. There are deterrents. I know, sir. Lock it dead. Multiple units offline. to Miyagani Island. Lower the Mercy Bridge. I, I can't, sir. We're locked out. The militia must have hardwired into the transport control system. Find me their access point. Right. Tracing the network traffic, it seems to have all been rerouted to Grand Avenue Station. Then that's where they'll be. I'll proceed on foot and take over their access point. I'll contact you when you're able to lower the bridge. Be careful, sir. Miyagani Island is rife with militia drones and troops.
The station's crawling with the Arkham Knights militia. I need to clear them out and find the access point they're using to hack into the transport network. Small surveillance drone circling the rooftop. It's equipped with an energy weapon. I need to be careful. I can disable the drone if I take out the soldier operating it. I would stop the explosion. Damn. So he's as good as the Arkham Knight says. Yeah, he is. So long as we control the transport network, we've got this city locked down. Arkham Knight's men taken care of, I can use their uplink terminal to lower the bridges. Isn't that Barbara's job? Oh, right! In all the excitement, I almost forgot. <laughs> you don't really believe old Jimbo's gonna forgive you if you save her. He holds a garage bats. I should know. Alfred, I've re-enabled the bridge controls. Marvelous. I'm rebooting the network now. Forget yeah. Scarecrow. It's time to face your one true nemesis, Batman. Oh dear, is that who I think it is? Enigma. Contact me when you're ready with the bridge. Riddle me this. Why would a Batman visit an abandoned orphanage? Eddie, sweetie, you confuse me with Robin. The big guy and I aren't all that close. Oh, oh, I know. It's because of what will happen to his feline friend if he doesn't get here in time. Shocked, Dark Knight? Stunned? <laughs> you didn't expect this, did you? That is because you are no match for me, Edward Nigma, the Riddler, and your intellectual superior. Did you think I would just forget our last meeting, Dark Knight? You humiliated me! I know you will not beat me this time. It is utterly impossible. You cannot do it. I have won already. I will mock your attempts to solve my conundrums. I will stand triumphant over your bloodied corpse. And as the dim light fades for good in your tiny dullard's mind, your final thought will be how I have bested you. Come to the orphanage, detective, or she dies.
guys. I want you to know this was the best Halloween ever. I gotta say, that it is good to be back. Gotham just wasn't the same without me, was it? I mean, Scarecrow's the biggest bad guy in town. <laughs> Not for long. You know what I love about firefighters? They run towards the danger. The new car bats. Oh, all those guns. It's like an evil clown was whispering in your ear as you drew up the designs. All right, riddle me this, fellas. What do you call the guy who takes down the bat? Uh, I don't... A hero, that's what. <laughs> I don't get it. You want to break the bat? Then forget Scarecrow, Two-Face, Penguin, and the rest of those punks. Enigma's the man with the plan. The real guy? Nah, I'm not buying it. Trust me, this guy's IQ is through the roof. You wanna catch the Dark Knight? You need to be smart. Enigma's smarter than all of you's put together. If he's so smart, how come the bat's still out there? Enigma's got a plan. You'll see. You don't believe me? Go ask Catwoman. She's right in there, all tied up and waiting for the bat to come save her. That's when the fun starts. I can't believe Riddler caught the cat! Penguin's never been able to do that! I'm telling you, Nigma's the man to work for. I mean, he talks down to you a bit, but still... I'm telling you, Nigma's... Catwoman, tell me why. I don't know anything, I swear. I tied her up and left her inside. Why? What's Nigma's play? I ain't got a clue. I just brought her here and planted some of these trophies nearby. That's it, you gotta believe me. I do. Batman? That had better be you, and you had better be sorry. Keep still. Are you okay? Perfect. What little girl doesn't dream of being bait for her strapping dark knight? We're leaving. You might be, but I'm not. Ah, both contestants are finally here. Tonight, folks, we've got riddles galore. But first, let me introduce my beautiful assistants. Ah, I'm growing tired of my dependence upon the least useless dregs I can scrape from Gotham's utterly uninspired underbelly. Why rely on others for help when you can design, program, engineer, and manufacture it yourself?
No doubt you enjoyed that, Detective. It's the most fun you'll have all night. You see, Dark Knight, this feisty felonious feline has been fitted with a shiny new collar. With each challenge you complete, you'll get one little key. Collect every key and the kitty goes free. Remove it too soon and the kitty goes boom! <laughs> But don't despair, Dark Knight. You, you, you did one challenge already. So let's see how long it takes for you to turn a running start into a stumble and fall. Take that rocket-fueled roadster and head on over to Chinatown, Detective. Your second test is waiting. I'll be back soon. You'll be back right away. Guys like Eddie let me be until I started playing nice with the bat. It's unlike you to get caught. Was it an ambush? Blackmail? A trap? He invited me. What? He said he had a job. A job? Of the cat burgling variety. I'm pretty good at it, remember? Not all of us scamper around on rooftops at night because we want to help people, you big brooding boy scout. Now where's my key? Do you do a lot of work for Riddler? Only when you're not looking. Selena. Someone wants something stolen? I'm the one who steals it. You know how this works. Or did you think you'd reformed me? Don't keep me waiting. Sir, I've regained control of the bridges. Good work. I'll contact you when I'm in position at Mercy Bridge. Well, Batman, old boy, this is quite the dilemma, isn't it? Do you save the incompetent friend who got herself kidnapped, or the incompetent friend who got herself kidnapped? Personally, I go see Eddie's latest contrived death gauntlet. I'm sure he went to a lot of trouble. <laughs> Besides, you can't save all of Barbara. I killed half of her already. Alfred, we can add a third victim to the list. This is becoming rather ghastly, sir. It brings to mind a spate of murders at the beginning of your career. It was Halloween then, if I'm not mistaken. Turned out to be rather a long one, if I recall. I'm going to try and identify the body. I've seen that pattern of scar tissue before. It's a bite mark. Analyzing its radius points to a species of Selacomorpha. This particular variety of shark is only found in the waters off the coast of North Gotham. The victim is fitted with an ocular prosthesis. This specific type of medical grade acrylic was used only once during a trial five years ago. Signs of trauma to the upper arm. At some point, titanium screws have been implanted to repair a fractured humerus. Alfred, the victim's name is Lisa Mendez. Uh, she had quite a troubled upbringing, sir. Orphaned age nine, foster homes, drug abuse. She developed a talent for surfing, hence the shark attack. Tragically, it's also how she lost her boyfriend. She was working for a Christian charity in Tucson, Arizona, when she went missing. That's three victims, all of them abducted in various places around the country. Keep looking for a connection, Alfred. Right you are, sir. The writing by the bodies suggests the killer has a higher purpose. It's as if these weren't good enough for what he has in mind. Do you think there are other victims? Yes, and I don't know what he has planned for them. Fourth victim. Highly regrettable, Master Bruce. All we can do is hope this body yields some clues as to the killer's identity.
An irregularity on the victim's chest. It appears to be a birthmark, quite distinctive. There's a bullet lodged deep in the upper bicep. This type of ammunition is predominantly used with a hunting rifle that hasn't been manufactured in over a decade. The left foot is missing several toes. The site of amputation suggests the removal of non-viable tissue in the treatment of frostbite. Alfred, I've ID'd the victim as Robert Kincaid. He was a microbiologist who worked for Stag Enterprises. Many believe the shooting was connected to Kincaid's knowledge of controversial research, although that remains unverified. He took a teaching post in Atlanta, which is where he was reported missing. Have you found anything linking the victims? I can find no personal or professional links between the victims, but they each went missing near state parks or playing fields. Try and find anything connecting those places. Of course, sir. I'll look into it. I'm heading to Mercy Bridge to pick up the trail of the Arkham Knight's vehicle. Miss Gordon's safety is on all of our minds, sir. Good luck.
The bomb's payload is exposed. I can use the power winch to trigger a controlled explosion. shortly, sir. Expect minor resistance, Master Bruce. power winch to trigger a controlled explosion. Congratulations, sir. Bomb destroyed. With every fight you show me a little more. When we meet, you have nothing left. The Arkham Knight's vehicle swerved and crashed up ahead. Car's empty. The Arkham Knight must have taken Oracle and moved on. I should examine the vehicle more closely. The car veered off an empty road. Looks like the driver wasn't wearing his seatbelt. I should find the body. Traces of pepper spray on the right side of the driver's face. Oracle must have been in the passenger seat and deliberately caused the crash. Clever. 
I should check the area where she was sitting. The door was torn off during the crash. If I can find where it came to rest, I can determine exactly what happened. Torn cleanly off the hinges, the door must have been opened before the crash. Oracle got out. I need to examine the reconstruction, pinpoint where she landed. Oracle got free of the vehicle before the crash. stopped here. Someone took a shot at her. I should analyze the point of impact for ballistic evidence. The caliber of the weapon is a match for the Arkham Knight's sidearm. The trajectory and impact velocity points to a shooter that matches his height. At this range, he couldn't have missed. A warning shot. I've missed something. Oracle knew she couldn't escape, but she caused this crash for a reason. She must have left a clue while crawling away. Lucius, Oracle left me the scrambler device at the scene of the crash. Decrypt the data so I can pinpoint the Arkham Knight's location. Ah, this kind of thing was more Miss Gordon's specialty. I'll see what I can do, but it'll take me a little while. I'll meet you at Wayne Tower when you're ready. Alfred, give me an update on Gotham's most wanted. One moment, sir. Right, these two are just in. A mysterious hooded figure has been spotted on a rooftop in Grand Avenue. He appears to be standing beside a burning bat symbol, sir. It might be wise to establish whether this interloper is friend or foe. Reports are also coming in of a blaze at the Bristol fire station. One suspects arson, sir, as the power to the building has been cut, disabling the fire suppression system. You may wish to investigate. <laughs> 